trekking poles. All right, cheers. Cheers to the next 1400 miles. Cheers to the trail. Cheers to the trail. <laughs> Ready to leave Stanimals Hostel. I am not sure how far I'm gonna to go today, but I am starting Shenandoah. Ran into some folks I knew here too, so have um, you know at least people in the bubble I know hiking around me and excited for finally some nice weather. I think the rain is over now, at least for this week, uh, and some nicer terrain too. So feeling really excited today and happy to get back on trail. The rain unfortunately was not over. I spoke too soon, so I wasn't expecting it, but it thundered and lightning last night for a couple hours. Um, the tent is soaking wet and covered in mud that splashed up off the ground. But the good news is it's beautiful today, a lot cooler, not humid. So I'll dry out my tent at lunch. Um, and there's a camp store that I'm coming up on in about five miles and I hear they have ice cream, so it's a good morning. Just past 900, today has been perfect conditions. I think all the rain we had paid off. It's about mid 70s, it's not humid. I was able to dry out all my stuff, lots of sun, another milestone, and I am headed up to High Top Nut Hut tonight, so 21 miles today. Just coming upon this ranger station, it was a 0.2 mile side trail, but I needed water, and there is a spigot here, so I'm gonna fill up, at least I don't have to filter. water to start the day. It's a pretty cool spring here. It's called the box spring. So I'm all filled up, water's filtered. This morning was a slow start. I was up really early at six, but I didn't get moving till nine. I was just really cold, didn't want to get out of my tent. I switched to a summer quilt and it's back down into the 40s. So <laughs> I hope that I make it through these next couple nights and then it warms up again. Um, my left knee is hurting more than usual today, so I still do want to make it 20 miles because there's a wayside up ahead that I think has blackberry milkshakes, but I'm just going to listen to myself if I need to stop sooner. I'll stop and camp before that and maybe have a blackberry milkshake for breakfast. Just left the Lewis Mountain campground and I'm headed for the Big Meadow Wayside. However, I heard that that wayside closes at five and the grill is closed anyway, so there are no blackberry milkshakes. So I'll have to wait a few days for the Elk Wallow wayside and rumor has it they may have them. Good morning. Today is my birthday and it's a beautiful day out on trail. Last night was a little bit chilly and I was nervous because I had sent home my winter quilt and bought a summer quilt. And the summer quilt doesn't even have a degree rating and it was down in the high 40s. It's the Big Agnes Kings Canyon, but I was actually warm. 
I slept in my rain jacket and my fleece because I sent my puffy home too. And like it worked out fine, so I'm shocked. This is also my coldest birthday yet. And I am five miles from Skyland Resort. And I think they have some sort of blackberry pie extravaganza thing that I'm gonna get um, because I won't hit the milkshakes wayside until tomorrow. beautiful day here in Shenandoah. I'm seven miles away from the Elk Wallow Wayside and finally going to get that famous blackberry milkshake. So yeah, Shenandoah's has revolved around blackberry desserts for me and I am quite happy about that. Just leaving Elk Wallow Wayside after a four hour break so I'm just gonna go six miles to the next hut and do another shorter day at 13 miles out of Shenandoah tomorrow. The blackberry milkshake was awesome. Everything blackberry here is amazing. I also got a blackberry saltwater taffy to go. So yeah, it's a good day. That's it, the end of Shenandoah.